So welcome back to another Kerbal video. I moved offices while I'm still moving. I have no curtains, so apologize for the lighting. Anyhow, I have a really good video for you. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can get data from Eurostat using the SCMX connector and filtering without having to do it manually. I showed you in a previous video, but I didn't know how to filter this properly until you guys must say contact me and show me how to do it so i need to tell you let's get started okay so this is how it works it's actually quite simple once you know how to do it as always so you restart a data browser the normal data browser we're gonna go and grab some data from here we're gonna have i don't know whatever city statistics and then we're going to look at education for cities and greater cities Beautiful. Click on the table to see it as a table. You know, just to show it in table format so it shows you the, the data. Here, you can start filtering. So these plus signs allows you to filter the data. So we're going to uncheck everything and get data for Belgium and Germany, for example. It will regenerate the table for us. We say the time is fine for these years. And now, this is where the trick starts. So you go to download and here, options, another format. So in this dialog, you have to go to SDMX, that's the connector that we have in Power BI. And then you have to grab SDMX 2.1. That is the format that is supported in the SDMX connector. And the, the custom data set, otherwise you can ask for the full data set if you want to. Data compress, no. And then... What you need to do is to copy this link, go back to Notepad, or to any, any annotation software that you have, and then you need to substitute all of that with SDMX CSV, because that is the format that is supported in Power BI. Once you've done that, you go to Get Data, and then SDMX, there, Connect, and then you paste this thing, show labels, OK, and it will connect. And then you will get the data filter. The only thing that you know you lose when you do that is the year filtering, the period filtering. So you will get for all years. So then you'll have to adjust in Power Query for that. But anyhow, it's a lot easier than what I was recommending you, or what I was showing you you could do of doing it manually. Another thing I didn't know and Matthew told me is that Eurostat has actually a part of a connector that is public. It's not being certified. It's not being nothing, but it has it. He was testing it. He was trying to work with it, and it seems like it's not working anymore. But anyway, if you work with your start a lot, maybe you can contact them and ask them to refresh this and why not you know, make it available in Power BI, like certify it. That would be absolutely excellent. Anyhow, this is all for me today. I will see you again in the next video.